Welcome to The Magic of Coffee. You're here with Jordan and Alex, and we're a podcast about Magic the Gathering, coffee, nerd culture, and much more. We've got our cups of joe. Let's get into it. Welcome <laughs> to episode six of season two. Episode six, dog. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to do today. It's been today. a week. It has been a week. It has been a true... Today, this week has been... So we got we got to do housekeeping. So yeah. what you you got a job? That's awesome. Yeah, I work at a grocery store now. Not Same the grocery store you work for, but um, yeah, I work there now, um, which is cool. I I worked there before, like in the chain, whatever. I work at Kroger now. K. Roger, um, <laughs> shout out. Yeah, shout out. Um, I I work there now. I used to uh, in high school, um, with my previous employer, um. Ruining my life, uh, I said, "Man, let me go to a place I know and uh, have some level of job security." So, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and it's easy. I just I do like the online shopping. I pick, you know, you order your shit online and I pick it up for you. Um, so until you know the magic coffee picks up and um, you know we can make money off of this, that's what I'll be doing, I guess. Which between the two episodes, we'll we'll have a little meeting. Oh, I have another thing to talk about with magic. Hold on, let me go into the notes. Um, yeah, that's my housekeeping. I'm watching my sister's dog set them again. Uh, they decided to go to Disney for two weeks. Um, let's. You know what we should do in a pandemic? Go to the worst place you should go. Aside from like, Disney let off ten thousand of their employees, <laughs> and it's all like the college like stuff. Yeah. Rough, uh, to say the least. So I don't know if so here's my little little snippet that I think you'll enjoy. Yeah. So I am uh I don't know if I ever brought it up in the podcast itself, but I am as of a couple months ago, I am polyamorous. Yeah. And I had a debate, was not an argument, a debate. Mm-hmm. With one of my partners and she mm-hmm. said and if she listens to this, she's gonna get real pissed. But she was just like, I feel like I'm losing my partner. And I was like And so I told her, I was like, in the event that we actually have an argument, I'm probably gonna say shit like this. And I, I don't have my phone on me, but it was just like, Hey, you're good, like we're good or some shit like that. And then I was like, You're just fucking annoying and then kiss emoji. That's probably the only thing that'll happen. And then she was like, I just never dealt with something like this. And I was like, Yeah, I know, bitch. Fucking, I'm gonna break up with you right now. That's well, not true. Cool. I wouldn't say that. Uh, interesting. We'll we'll talk on touch on it a little bit because it's kind of still happening. <sighs> um, and you uh, you may not know it's happening, and it, <laughs> don't mean to ruin your world. But Ryan Haywood from Achievement Hunter, um, died. No, had <sighs> nudes leaked that he was sleeping with fans in the community, and got what kicked, a god, and got kicked out of Rooster Teeth. <laughs> Damn it. Um, what a he's champion. married with children, so so um, yeah, I know. Okay, and then for the Kovic record, for the record, from, <laughs> that is fucked up. <laughs> yes, I agree. So never cheat or have affairs. Yeah, it's part of the, it was against their community like guidelines and standards. Um, and Adam Kovic, the same thing happened. He should have played modern funhouse. Um, so yeah, so they're not like. Yeah, and so the community's pretty shook up, and I don't even know if I want to watch like Rooster Teeth content anymore. But That's, he's only he got kicked out. He's the only one that had, that did it. Yeah, I know it's just weird, but yeah. So you watch it a good bit. You like their like GTA and Minecraft stuff. So I, I like their Minecraft stuff a little yeah. bit more. Um, I actually, to be honest, I haven't actually been like watching them all that much. Yeah, but I. That's not on them in any way. It's just my scheduling now. Be specifically like album and. Yeah, uh, talking about scheduling, which is funny, is I am, we've talked about this several times, um, but I had five months of not doing anything, Mm -hmm. and now I'm doing things, and I, like, want to, like, be not doing anything, so my life right now is this constant, even more so than it has been ever before, of just heavy procrastination, like, um, I'm, like, trying to stay good on school, but, like, I'm taking calculus right now. And it's so hard, and I just don't want to do it. <laughs> and I just, it's so annoying. And it's not that, like, the class itself is hard. They, they, I'm doing online classes, 
and they do a really good job of like like they give you all of the lectures that you would have if you went to class and you can watch it and they give you a lot of like work and stuff to do um but it's just like oh my god and i know i have to do it because i need to know calculus to be able to make video games um yeah that's the annoying part and it's like now with doing a job and it's kicking my butt um just with like the activeness of it all um so there's a lot of like internal struggle and a lot of like you know like fuck it like let me just build a schedule like a true daily schedule just to like do it every day um so that might be happening over the next couple weeks especially because of <coughs> um we're not recording next week but uh so i'll have a free day but yeah um i mean if need be we can also like um switch to bi-weekly again but it seems a i like little, our setup now yeah i like how we're doing it it's like and i have all of like the videos we've recorded edited most for the most part it's just like sitting down and trying to make eight different thumbnails at one time is very aggravating <laughs> so it's like that's kind of the problem at this point is i don't i don't know what we're gonna like thumbnail wise is just like ugh. but i may just do the youtube recommended thumbnails for them but i don't want to no you know? yeah i agree um i mean also like you could just like get lauren to do them yeah, like I know I want to. The issue with Lauren is she's just like how? Like what do you want? And then I'm just like I don't know, that's why I want you to do it. And then it turns into this like eh, because if I'm going to like find the pictures and like do all the work, I might as well just make the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So, and that's that's my headspace. Nothing against her and like doing that. It's just like in my headspace, that's just how my brain works. So Also it's like like, I think she takes it a little too seriously versus, like, when you look at the thumbnails, like, yeah, they take a lot of work, but they're definitely not serious thumbnails. Like, no, no thumbnail should be very serious. They the, should be clickbaity. The last thumbnail that uh, for episode five, it, my, it was, like, Wednesday night or something like that, and the video was re- at rendering on my computer, and I said, fuck it, I'm just going to use my iPad. And, um, I like, I need an Apple pencil or something like that or a stylus to be able to use it. Right. Yeah. Um, because you can tell, like, I like how, uh, Photoshop works on iPad better than my computer. It's also because it runs smoother. Um, but, uh, it's not as complicated. There's, it's not as dense. It's definitely like for express work for I with an iPad. And that's kind of, like the tools that I would need because I'm not like trying to like change entire color palettes of pictures or anything like that. I literally just am trying to like copy, like cut, you know, cut paste, cut yeah. paste. You know, I do like, I should have just taken our faces out of it because our faces are rough, but I like, because it's one of the past, just in general, pictures. IRL, our faces are rough. Yeah. It's one of the pathway pictures with a sunset and I put the, cut like a magic, a coffee logo in half and then put that as, like the sun. Yeah, also, dude, the last episode's thumbnail, you put a brown background with brown letters. Yeah, I know. I, I was know. like, dude, can you just, can you? I want to keep the lettering the same color. I know. I saw it and it was just like. <sighs> I think we should make an agreement. Before you post the <laughs> thumbnail, just clear it with your other co-host. And I'm going to be yeah. like, because I'm going to be blown with you, dog. I'm going to be like, hey, it's not that it looks like shit. It's just I shit this out. Yeah. Um, it's also interesting because. Other than that, um, I love the thumbnail. Uh, a big part of it is a big issue with like go to where we're at is um, I think it's you're kind of the same way too is I am so focused on just getting the new podcast set up and like getting to the new place and like really getting a to, new yeah. computer, the new computer and like the grass is greener on the other side type thing. And I'm kind of not doing as well as I potentially could. I mean, I'm also to, just procrastinating a shit ton, yeah, which is a huge fault of mine. But I mean, uh, the brown is definitely not that bad. Oh, for the thumbnail? Yeah, it's not that bad. Like yeah. as, as a thumbnail, it's not that bad. Yeah, I, the episode four, not that bad. I actually quite enjoy it. Is that the Zendikar one? That's the uh, we were talking about. Scoot Swarm is oh, Scoot Swarm yeah. broken? Which uh, <laughs> it is. Yeah, dude, the best thing on the planet, and I've done this, and we'll talk about it later. Genesis Ultimatum, and then you just see 
three lands, two scoot swarms. That's happened once, and it was just like, and then I lay my land for turn. Yeah, dude. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. But yeah, the scoot swarm one was a fun. Lauren did, I think, episode three, when, which is yeah, and then I did one. Episode three is in like episode three is you and I, and we have like the logos on our faces. Oh, she did episode two then. <clears throat> episode two is like Zendikar Rising and then yeah. like... She did episode it's, two. It's actually... I quite... It's really good. Yeah. She I does, like episode two. She doesn't two. do a bad job. And it, it part of it is I'm just really bad at communicating with that to her. Like, hey, can you do this? Um, Real quick. Uh, That's just like the the problem with that. Is just I'm just terrible at being like, hey, let's uh, get this done. So, Dude, look at our channel, dog. There, realistically, there's not much on here. Might There's more to. audio because we started doing the yeah we didn't we started start not doing yeah um, video until episode ten or eleven um, of last season so there's yeah and there's plenty of more coming on the way like I have all of it edited down it's just making the thumbnails right now is just I'm not a creative person I want to make video games but I'm not a creative person um so it it's hard like finding photos and like doing this and that and you know. And make it different than all of the other magic thumbnails on the internet at yeah. this point, you know. So, yeah, and especially like we we'll we'll have the meeting, but like we're definitely going. You and I are definitely going to have to start promoting. I think next month we'll start. Yeah, I could even say like season three potentially, like new setup. Yeah, because I think there'll be if we do an extras next week. Um, this comes out on today is what the tenth. So this will come out on the 15th, extras on the 22nd. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we'll probably take the month of December off, honestly, just to get moved. Yeah. So I can get moved and then we can start setting stuff up. Because I have a, I have a genuinely awesome, or I had a genuinely awesome idea for the space I was going to move into. I'm not moving in there anymore. But it will work the same way. To be fair... So we're not going to name names, but the situation that you had, if you would have told me that this particular person was moving for another particular person, I would have been like, don't put your eggs in that basket. Well, no one listens to this. That's in this group. Well, that's yeah. in that group. Well, so the idea is, is they were together and they were going to California and they're moving out to California and living in a van. Huh? The boyfriend. I would never is, live in a van. <laughs> The boyfriend is bipolar and has had several manic episodes in the last month. I know who he is. Yeah, and they broke up because of that. Guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah, and I think also the realization of like, holy shit, we're just like completely packing up our lives and living in a van in California. You know, it's not an easy pill to swallow. Joji just shit. Did he? Please do not knock over that. It is a very, very expensive light. Um... I'll pick him up, but yeah, yeah, that whole situation sucks because, yeah, okay. all right, but uh, that was easier said than done. I mean, if you need help finding a place, I can help you. Yeah, I have an idea of where I, I like. It's going to be like on Oak Street. There's a a really uh good apartment, a a company that owns a bunch of um. <laughs> Just breathe. Uh, <laughs> there's an apartment company that owns a lot of really good apartments out there that I'm I'm looking into that I'm going to start talking to and um and try to move in there. I would like to say on the record that we should uh Jordan and I had a meeting the other day at a bar and it literally I have the Patreon stuff or just worked out. Yeah. And I think we should do that more often. Yeah. Um, Discord is up now too. We'll put a link in. The, I'll add that to the links in the description. Send um, that to me. I'll put it in the um, in all the show notes. Yeah. Um. So there's that. That that's there now. And um. Yeah. And then there's that ball that's gonna start rolling. I think season three is when we'll probably balls we'll talk about it. But um. Yeah. So a lot what of cool things today? happening. Luffy, Gogeta, Fallout guy. Nice. Deku and Link and then the unsanctioned box because we've never shown this off. Like Jesus we did the page. video and we did the video but it. never showed it off. Yeah. Dude, I wish we were playing arena when those lands came out. I really want those lands because it was limited. You can't get them anymore. 
It's not like well, with like. I think they'll come around because like the unstable ones have come back around. Granted, yeah. those weren't those didn't come out when Arena came out. Those have been out for a decade. So, you know what I bought the other day? Yeah. Um, I bought. I spent gold. Um, I was tired of looking at the uh, Lotus Cobra normal art, so I bought the alt art. Oh yeah, dude! It's, yeah. it's been growing on me. Dude, it's so good. Um, I bought um something, some art, some alt art the other day for a card <clears throat> because I've been playing a lot more recently. Uh, but yep, yeah, great segue into Arena. Um, man, the meta is all over the place at this point. It's not really all over the place. Like it's it's better. I think it's healthier than it has been than than it was last year. Um, particularly with Uro's banning, which is funny, but um. Because, like, Adventure is super strong right now. Four Color On Moth is super strong right now. Demir is super strong right now. Garul is super strong right now. So, uh, yes, Demir, Garul, uh, Rakdos. So, you can. So, okay. If you. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. Top8.com. MTGTop8.com yeah. is where we go to check out all of the. So, like, the, uh, the season grand finales are happening right now. Yeah. And so I want you to look at some. Have you clicked on all of the th- all of the decks? No, I haven't clicked on all of them. Okay, so before you do so, let me tell you about something. It's also before that. It's interesting because Demir isn't on this at all. No. Demir. So once Demir went rampant, um, people started figuring out how to take care of it. Yeah. Now this isn't the point system. Like Adventures is first. Yeah. In line. But it's in alphabetical order. Mm-hmm. Now, if you look, there's something that is... Omnath is the majority of the deck, but there's one other card that is in almost every deck that is either Omnath or Adventure. Take a wild guess what it is. Mm, I'm going to say... Let me look. Before you look, take a guess. You're gonna. It's the one thing that you and I want banned out of all cards oh, right Lucky now. Lucky Clover. Lucky Clover. Lucky Clover is the most used card in this entire setup because Omnath Ramp is not Omnath Ramp. No. It's Omnath Adventures. Yeah. So. Yeah, Beanstalk, Bone Crusher, Brazen Borrower. So there's a couple of them that uh that have, like, that aren't Omnath. They're, like, Genesis Ultimatum Omnath Ramp. I love those decks. Which is the decks we play at the moment. Yeah, yeah I love playing those decks. Scoot Swarm, which is interesting because Scoot Swarm's not in it. Scoot Swarm is a, is a board wipe away, which is great. It's fine. It makes it fair. But if you don't have a board wipe... I think a Scoot Swarm is, is really good, and if Scoot Swarm gets banned, Felder's Retreat is a very good replacement because it still has that landfall trigger. Oh, yeah. And it... Um, it also gives things vigilance till the end of turn and plus one plus one counters. Like sign yeah. me up, dude. It's so good because I've won many games doing Tear of the Peak, Felder's Retreat, like machine gun combo, oh, and yeah. it's so <laughs> gross. Um, you know, and we'll talk about some other combos in a minute, but it's just like Onmoth Ramp is so good, and if Lucky Clover gets banned, Adventure gets banned, and Onmoth is like number one. Yeah, if you look. Literally, I've been I've been going through all of on math ramp, yeah. and we'll call them Genesis Ultimatum decks, and then Adventure decks. On math is in almost every deck. Yeah. So we have Genesis Ultimatum decks and Adventure decks. The majority of decks here, if on math gets banned, fine. That's going to be fucking irritating, but yeah. it's it's going to be fine. But there is one card that is more played. It is Lucky Clover. Mm-hmm. I've been going through, and there's. I found two, maybe three, if I remember correctly, out of all the on math ramp in this list, I found three ultimatum decks. Yeah. The rest of them are yeah, it's adventure, adventure decks. Because of Lucky Clover, dude. Like, <clears throat> Demir put Omoth in control. Um, and that's fine. Like, it definitely, like... Demir put real, what now? Like, put Omoth in control. Like, controlled it. It, like, oh yeah, it yeah. back quite a bit. Um, which is fine. Like there should be a balance, but Lucky Clover is just like <laughs> I don't care about anything. You want Vega Witches? You want to get Ugin out? You want to grab all your weird fucking counters you have in there? Cool, let's fucking do it. And it's so annoying. Um, um, and it's just with the infinite combo that was discovered. Um, oh yeah, I could see Genesis Ultimatum decks starting to really become more of a thing again. If you can pull that shit off, yeah, boy. Yeah. 
I haven't pulled it up. I haven't honestly played Arena um, in a few days. I've just been so busy. But I didn't think um, about Ultimatum. Oh my! That's what God. I'm saying. Like an uh, Ultimatum deck with like Odd Moth, Tear of the Peaks, um, Chain Web, Ank, 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 Arnick, or whatever his name. I thought is. it was Spore Web. It's Spore Web. Chain Web is something else. <clears throat> so yeah. let me let me let me let me Spore bring Web. up this uh, this combo here, uh, dude. It's also that this had been going. This is this grand. Like this championship has been going on all week in that. Well, Infinite it's been combo. going on since the ninth. Yeah, uh, that Infinite Combo came out Recently. after these decks were submitted. Yeah. So. Well, also, um, I'm pretty sure no one can pull that shit off. It's 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 tough to pull off. Um, it's pretty much just getting like Terror of the Peak Scoot Swarm machine gun. Oh. Um, like, pulled off, which is tough, but it's doable. Um. Uh, sorry. Um, I blanked. Uh, Demir is in here. Where? It's last on the list. There's only one oh, deck UB submitted. Control. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's easy to, like, like you said, people figured out how to handle it. But. I mean, I still haven't. I mean, I I have. It's very easy. You just need a fuckload of burn. Yeah, it's just burn spells. You Which, can't like. It's either turn three on Moth. If you can get on Moth out turn three, they usually concede. Um, well, they or, have. There's a, there's a. So people have been running uh, main board. They've been running um, either uh, Blood Chief's Thirst or um, or uh, Heartless Act or both. Well, yeah, but I'm saying usually, usually, because I'm still in gold. I'm like tier one at this point. Most people in gold don't know how to handle like a turn three on moth, so they yeah. usually just concede because that ramp after that point ramp is just <coughs> gross and insane, and there's not much you can do about it. Rakdos aggro is interesting. There's three decks in here of that, uh, and it's mostly because of rankle, I think, because um, <clears throat> easy burn and rankle. Because rankle is very good and isn't played nearly as much as. I would, I would have liked him to be played. I don't run black, but um, I used to run black. Yeah, but I don't run black hardly at all anymore. I could see like five color on moth wouldn't even work, but I was like five, five color on moth. With five color on moth and historic works pretty yeah. well. But yeah, I mean, even like, dude, if you look at Gruel Aggro, I mean, there's a lot of adventure based stuff. It doesn't run Lucky Clover, fine, but yeah, it still has a lot of adventure based stuff. Yeah. Like, adventure is the majority of this championship. Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. fucking irritating. I fucking hate Lucky Clover. You know how easy it is to make Odd Moth go rampant with Lucky Clover? Dude, if you run, if you have an Odd Moth on the field and then you make, you do a Beanstalk Giant, boom, boom. That's four mana. That's four mana, plus you got four health, and then you lay your land for turn, bada boom, bada bing. Or, no, yeah, so that. So it's Beanstalk, double trigger. If you have one Lucky Clover, much less two or like all four or whatever, you know. Depending on how much land you have, you could do Beanstalk Giants Adventure and its actual card yeah. in one turn. That was, it's Lucky Clover's going. Um, it has to. It if, has if it to. doesn't, then then Adventure is still going to be top meta. Like I understand they didn't ban On Moth or Scoot because they were so they were released so early, um, and they were like, we want to like see where the meta's at. Uh, <laughs> but it's, when every deck is running Lucky Clovers, it's just, yeah, it's so annoying. Um, and it's also annoying because <clears throat> See there wasn't a, like a card like that for Theros for escape things. And there wasn't a card like that for, um, Ikoria for mutate. And it's just dumb. Like I get it's supposed to be like the four leaf clover and you're super lucky. Like that's its attempt, but it's just annoying and it should go. Dude, literally in in the aggro scene, adventures is top, and then in control, adventures is second. Yeah, adventure is a control deck. It's a mid range aggro control deck, <clears throat> which is interesting. It shouldn't be in control. Uh, do are you fucking kidding me? It it should be realistically. It should be in combo. Brazen Borrower, Fave Wishes, um, Mystical Disputes in there. Um, and in your sideboard, yeah, right. you have negate, neutralize. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <coughs> there are con there are. Yeah, cards it is. It is. It is control. All right. Very. Controlling. I'll take that. It's it's a perfect deck. Like, don't get me wrong. It is a good deck. It's just lucky clover makes it way too strong. I love playing decks where people. I wouldn't like. This is getting into the issue of like 
is this like a brain dead deck or not? And I don't think it is. I don't think it is. But it's just Lucky Clover makes it a little more brain dead. But I don't think it's brain dead. I think it's just a little overpowered. Yeah. I like... It's annoying playing against it because it's so good. Yeah. But it's... It's not it's not red dick wins and it's not uh it's not cauldron familiar rip dude I forgot about cauldron familiar it's been it feels like it's been so long it, it's only been a couple months yeah I love it but here's something that I really really want to see and I don't think it'll be able to be pulled off because of the amount of shit you have to do but I really like this combo and and I found it on a Instagram post and I never thought about it I run tear the peaks a lot. It's so good, yeah, especially so good. with Scoot Swarm. Yeah. So good. But I found this combo, her, uh, Heroic Intervention, Tear the Peaks, and um, Spore Web Weaver. So, we I mean, I sent it to you, but I'm just going to yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. say it again. So you have, and I was explaining this to um, one of our mutual friends about how this combo works, because you brought up Demir. And she played Maggie. She plays Demir. And she was like, well, I'm not going to deal damage. And I was like, well, if you block, that's dealing damage. But she's like, most of my shit's flying. And I was like, well, here's where my solution comes in. Have Terror of the Peaks out. Have Spore Web out. Hit Spore Web in response to her swing uh, at instant speed, because it's any target. Play um, Shock. Hit it with a Shock. And then in response to the Shock do heroics intervention because hex proof is opponents so you can still target yeah. your shit so it has indestructible indestructible and hex proof so you can't get rid of anything uh unless you board wipe but you can't board wipe anything at instant speed right now so as long as terror is on the field and you do damage to spore web it takes a uh, plus one plus one counter or plus one uh plus one plus one a one one spore token excuse yeah. me and then tear the peak triggers and then you hit Spore web again. And you do that however many times you want. Yeah, I'll give yourself 100 life. You can give 100. You can do... You can sit there and wait for the game to break because it is infinite. Yeah. As long as they have indestructible and there's no way for the opponent to... Because even if you, like, negate... uh, Not negate, but if you have, like... Because there's one... There's a card that's, like, uh, counter target ability... You can counter that ability, and then as long as you have another shock in, it'll re-trigger, and then it'll just keep going. Um, yeah. On top of that, I just remembered. Um, I'll put it in the notes so we can talk about it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that, that is, and like the only way to, let's just say you sit there for like an hour, and now you have 500 one ones and 500 extra life. Let's say the opponent board wipes. Sure. You board wipe. You still have 500 life you have to get through. The only other way is to mill them out. And if they can get that shit back online, then it's done. With um, the issue that I've found is unless you mill them out, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. I mean, sure, adventure cards can like, you can make a really, really strong um, beanstalk giant and you can just keep swinging. It's just going to take forever. By the time you get you get me down to like, say like, 200 health the timer will run out and you'll lose yeah because i'm definitely winning because i have 200 fucking life god forbid i have a fucking let's say i fucking run white and then i'll just lay that one drop that taps for fucking angels but it, with adventure even if you have beanstalk giant and even if you're like um even if you <clears throat> have him you know be super buff and whatever right um you still have a million fucking spores on the field that can defend oh yeah you know and even even that is you have a million spores on the field that do one damage if they attack so it's yeah like, so you have 500 <laughs> of those and it's just like cool yeah. i'm gonna i'm and gonna even declare if, well yeah if they board wipe sure like they go all away but it's like again you have now have 200 fucking health <laughs> yeah you know it's like it, it, it the and dude god forbid you have another heroic intervention that's a scoop yeah. If I board wiped and you played another heroic intervention, I would have been like, there's nothing I can fucking no, do. Nothing. I literally <laughs> board wiped myself. You know? And God forbid I have another fucking shock and I shock my spore web again. Yeah. Um, speaking of like, because you talked about it, is like um, a card that's not able to use abilities. If somebody used a card, I don't remember what it's from, but it was like 
Um, look through opponent's graveyard, name a card, and that card can't use its activated ability anymore. Um, and it was like an enchantment. <clears throat> it's a wait, wait, say that one more time. It's um, look through opponent's graveyard, pick a name a card, um, and that card is unable to use its activated ability any isn't able to use its activated ability anymore. I don't know what it said it's from. Um, Probably from Theros. And it might be from Theros. It's an enchantment, and they that's used, where the escapes came from. Yeah, they used fabled passage um <clears throat> but the text on the card is name a card and that card isn't able to use its activated ability anymore not opponent's <clears throat> card that card so they named fabled passage <laughs> and they kept drawing fabled passages and weren't able to use it nice and at that time i had the dryad in um on moth in the ink ramp so i had the dryad that allows any land to tap for whatever. So cool. I can't use my field passage to go grab a land, but I can still use it as a mana base. Yes. <laughs> it's just, <coughs> it's so it's like, like I didn't concede and we played the game out, but it was just like, really? Like, do you, do you know what you just did, dude? Like, Oh my God. <clears throat> it was funny. And, um, I just, when people make, like I've made so many times dumb mistakes like that, where I'm thinking I'm doing something really cool. And then I'm just like, oh, that fucked me. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> there, oh, what, what was one? Dude, the funniest thing in the world is when someone... So when people see Scoot, Scoot's tokens, it's considered a three-drop token. And I love when people run fucking Extinction Event and go even. I've and had so, that happen. Yeah, it's the best thing on I, the planet. I have also happened, had it happen where they try to use an Ugin and use it like is like a minus one or a minus two or something like that, and those tokens don't disappear, and they're just like, <laughs> you <can> just <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's just so funny. I also saw a guy. I don't know. I've seen some weird decks and some people do some weird moves and attempt to win, and it's my favorite thing is when you see them and they're like looking over all of their cards. Like they do something and then just like, it doesn't do as they wanted. And they're like fucking over the cards and like, and they like look at Ugin or Planeswalker or whatever. And then they, you like, could just tell like and it's every time what I hate how arena does it is if you have a companion or adventure card, um, over on the, over on the right, it's when you look at your hands, when you look at your hand, the adventure card highlights. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when they're looking at their hand, um, <clears throat> so they like do that and they look at their hand again and then they like go over to the graveyard and then you see it there for a few seconds cause they're like trying to read the card text, whatever they just did. <laughs> and they usually concede and it's just like, dude, if you're going to run a deck, at least know how to like know what your cards do. Don't just copy <laughs> paste off the internet, you know, never do that. I, I, I have, I've copied and pasted for sure, but I've also like, but you know what the cards are. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is actually a decent segue to, um, not copy and paste, but I have definitely... So over the past week, I have used On Moth Adventure. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, runs really well. And also let me tell you, it's fucking boring as fuck. Yeah. I did not... Ha I was I was excelling. I didn't have all the... I wasn't like going to waste my, my wild cards just getting this. I was just like getting the optimal deck. I was just playing it to play it. And it still ran really well. Because Adventure with Lucky Clover has amazing synergy. Yes. And I was like, I'm going to run it. So I ran it and it was fine. It worked. But I was also just like. <sighs> yeah. And I think a, a big part of that is four color on moth is a very fun deck to run because it, it makes you think like you genuinely have to be like, all right, you like, have to you do battle the field. How many man lands do I have? What kind of lands do I have? If I'm going to, you know, you know, Lotus Cobra or whatever, like what, like what, you know, do I need a planes? Or do I need an island to be able to drop, you know, Genesis Ultimatum or Filters Retreat or mm -hmm. whatever? Um, <clears throat> and you do genuinely have to think. And I, I, I really enjoy um, running four color. I also really enjoy running four color with Ancient Greenwood, Green Warden. Sorry, because you're able to pull those fabled passages back out or Evolving Wilds and that yeah. double land. Training. You know what's crazy? I stopped running that or Ashea. Yeah, I mean they're expensive, and there's better cards with better synergy for sure. I just like the ability. Like I think I run one of Ancient Green Warden and one Ashea, um, just to like have in the back. I think we should play play a game at some point against each other, just one and see. Because I don't run Terror 
a yeah. Shea or Ancient Greenborn. And in the beginning of this, I ran them. Mm -hmm. But I think it was really easy with Uro. It's very, it's a lot easier with Uro to do all of that because mm -hmm. of the, like you get a lot more card draw with it. Um, and Uro is just it's weird because like Uro was had so much synergy in these decks and it definitely like hurt them when he got banned, but it was, it was mostly for the free card draw that you got it and the land dropping and the, and the extra land drops. I mean, it was a six, six for four. Like it's pretty damn good with like ETB triggering and then attack triggering. Like it was, it was the epitome of a Titan. Yeah. All the Titans are like that. Um, and it's just, it's interesting. Um, and it's also interesting because, Wizards is at a point where they're trying to introduce a new mechanic for every set at this point. Like, Landfall is an old set, like an old mechanic, but they brought the party mechanic in, and it just didn't... Landfall is just so good that party... Landfall is very good. It's too good, but yeah. party mechanic, when done right, is really... I'll still beat it, but yeah. those are the... You I know, think party holds up better in, like, Historic and EDH and other oh, stuff. Oh, 100%. EDH? Yeah. Woo! But in, in the party mechanic in Standard, it's... If done right, it, we've talked about this over and over again throughout our, our time with this podcast that there are certain decks where even if I'm losing, I won't concede because it's just a fun game. Yeah. Parties is one of them. If you have a good party deck, like Shrines, I don't go fuck. Shrines are... Like, I'll oog in them. It's going to be fine. But party party mechanics and all that shit, if, they, if you can do it good enough, oh, it's great. I mean, and I'll... Sometimes I, I'll lose one of those games. It'll be fine. So, uh, speaking of Shrines and before I get into the next what I was going to talk about I guess with party or I'll talk about party is I think party is going to be good in two sets because we're getting the Viking one next and then we're getting the wizards one and I yeah. think uh, there's going to be a lot of cards that play well into the party mechanic I don't know like what kind of I don't know what the Viking is going to be I have no I'm, idea I'm interested but also like mm, right. it's not going to be like the Ikoria of the set in any regard I think it's going to be like thrones level good um, and I don't know I if mean, we'll ever have Thrones another. Thrones is I, pretty damn good. I think I well Thrones right now because of adventure, but I think Ikoria was a better set overall than Thrones, like on its initial release. I think yeah, on its initial release, I I think yes, and there are a very there's a lot of good cards, yeah. but dude, outside of adventures, Thrones is still mad fire. You got Ember Cleave, you got Questing Beast, you got yeah, <laughs> like so. Th Ikoria's legacy is going to be known as a really good escape into the wild. Bro. Yeah, is Ikoria I think is going to be known better more for its like support is the ultimatums, the triomes. Um, oh yeah, mutate was really good, but it, like <clears throat> it's only good for green players at this point. Um, I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, there's Migratory some great horn and gem razor um, will be the cards that hey. like get played for Starks. Starks is also really good. Sarix, I mean, <clears throat> I love that card. And the Ghidoria, uh, Apex of Wishes is also really good. Um, it just, it, that, but those were all green cards. Like, uh, Black's Mutate was mostly Menace and Death Touch based. And, and Sacrifice Creatures and, and shit some like that. And some Sac, yeah, uh, which is fine, but... Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't make it good. No. Um, blue was a lot of, like, card draw, which is fine. But it was just... Card draw and bouncing. Yeah. Um, but these are, I'm only just discussing, like, w couple cards... So, I mean, like, versus, like, the green escape cards, or escape, the green uh, mutate cards, like, you have far more stuff that synergizes with the current meta now in green than you do anything else. Oh, yeah, no, for you sure. You got Great Horn, Starix, you got Gem Razor. Those three cards in themselves, if you mutate with them, it will go completely haywire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if, a, if, a, if you play an adventure deck and you get those three online, first of all, they, they ain't no Lucky Clover on the board anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> There's gonna be a lot of shit of your shit, and God forbid you have Scoot attached to one of them. Yeah, I know. Then it's just like that's six I was, six. I, I was trying to build a mono green deck, like in particular to counter Lucky Clover. So it was Gem Razor, Wilt, Broken Wings, um, some other stuff. Yeah, where it was just like making sure Lucky Clover can't get on the board, um, and Scoot Swarm was part of that because Scoot Swarm, <laughs> until it gets banned, will be in all of my decks. Just as a win con in its own right, you know, as just like, cool, we're going to make sure this person will never be able to touch me again. Um, but uh, speaking of the sanctums is I built that we, we were talking about it the other day. I sanctums built, I copy pasted a deck. It was like a mono green deck or something. I think um, 
from just like a page and I did traditional standard, um, just casual play. And I played against a sanctum deck and I understand the appeal to sanctums, why they're cool because they talk about sanctums like the shrines. Yeah. The shrines. Oh, okay, okay. They like trigger off of each other and you can do some really cool stuff with it. And sanctum, um, of all like makes everything double trigger. Cool. Um, <clears throat> I did traditional standard and I lost one and then I lost the last one, but it's mostly because of the black shrine because it just, every time you lose, you gain life, mm -hmm. the opponent loses that much life. Um, which is really good because like the, the red and black one just bounce off of each other really well. Synced up decks as a whole do not work because that win con is that and it's alone by itself is like getting all five of them out, you know, and making sure they stay online. Yeah. Keeping them on the board, like, to be honest, like enchantments are definitely kind of relatively difficult to get rid of. Well, they you can. You just have to make sure you have cards in the deck. The issue is, I to be honest, like I have a couple cards that'll get rid of the shrines, but I don't expect in in ranked to face shrines. No. So, um, so I don't have anything really to take care of all of them. The issue is with the shrines is I become. I get my deck goes online before they do, and then I can kill them before they can actually kill. Yeah, me. usually, usually, yeah. It was just because I was testing out this deck, um, and I was just like having fun with it, and I said, sure, whatever. Like, and I like I, at the end of the day, it was just like I understand why they're appealing and people would want them to work. It's just they're too slow to be able to work in the current meta, um, and I don't think the meta is ever going to slow down enough to be able to. Oh yeah, I agree. Get them to be good because. At this point, the meta is just turn five wins. <laughs> turn five wins. I mean, dude, you can even I can even argue turn four win. I was turn four winning with uh, before the rotation happened. But. Dude, I was I remember um, I don't remember how the combo works, but I remember reading about it. Apparently with party mechanics, if you can keep the mechanic online, you can do 40 damage in one turn. Sure. However, I sent you a photo last night. Was it last night? Yeah. Th what I showed you, all of that, I had scoots, one scoot swarm. All of that was essentially two turns. Yeah. All of it. Because right. I did so much ramp that I, I, Genesis ultimatum once, and then I got so much fucking mana from the first one that I did another Genesis ultimatum. Yeah. So I did two in one fucking turn. Yeah. And then just fucking bleh. Yeah, dude, it's. Let me see. Let me let me let me post this. Or let me let me talk about this. I absolutely. I can put it on the podcast. We just have to remember. I just have to remember. It's that. Uh, oh, I fucking forty three. Um, I have something that I need to show you as well. But I'm gonna. Uh, I just wanna. This is two turns, mm -hmm. and also the guy can. He didn't concede. He actually was letting me do it. I just forgot. On moth does four damage, and he was at two. And then I was like, why did he? Why did that happen? And then like, it's because I noticed the trigger. Yeah. So my. I had two retreats out, an Ugin, Scoot Swarm, and then a couple other things. So I had a Bone Crusher Giant that was a 22-21, three uh, Beanstalk Giants that were 39-39s, one Beanstalk that was a 25-25, two Cat Tokens that are 20-20s, one, I'm sorry, three Scoot Swarms that were 19-19s, 12 Scoot Swarms that were 15-15s, 15 scoot swarms that were seven sevens and 60 scoot swarms that were five fives. I had a Lotus Cobra that was a six five. And then I had a on moth that was an eight, nine, eight, eight. Mm -hmm. That filters retreat. So that plus one, plus one. It's Dude, so good. It was fucking gnarly. Um, filters retreat. So I, so like thinking back, I would say my favorite card from Thrones is, I don't have a favorite card from Thrones. My favorite card from, Theros is Hydra's Growth, even though it doesn't get used. Favorite card from Ikoria is... I would say my favorite card from Thrones is Emperor Khalif. Ikoria is Gem Razor because it's so good and can be used in any deck. 4-4 um, four, four with Reach and Trample that also mutates the destroying enchantments. For three. For three. Um, and then uh, M21, I would say, is like Ugin. He's just so Mine's good. Ugin. He's so good. Yeah, um, once I saw him, I was like, dude, he was in standard when I was playing standard back in the day, and I was like, why the fuck do you reap? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let him die. <laughs> um, but it's tough with Zendikar. It's like it's either <clears throat> Scoot Swarm or Felder's Retreat. Like, and I don't know because they're both so good. Dude, mine's, mine's Amoth. Amoth is also really good, but like 
Scoot Swarm and Felder's like I I don't play white at all, but and I'm just like Felder Street, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> like it's so good. Felder's Retreat is so good. It is. It is, in my opinion, it's so good because a lot of people don't, for some reason, don't really focus on like. Um. Just, people just don't get rid of it. No, they're, they're like, like <laughs> have you guys watched anything? It's so good. What are you doing? Get rid of this. Get please. rid of it. I mean, As if I'm there's like, a Lotus Cobra, like get rid of the Lotus Cobra first, but Felder's Retreat, you need to get rid of that shit now. Yeah, it's just so funny because half the time I don't even like do the cat tokens. I'm just buffing fuckers. I'm just like, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here Once go, I got scoot out, I was just like, <laughs> no more cats. <laughs> no. Time for bugs. Let's make these bugs huge. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's just so funny. Uh, before we get, before we move on, because um, we're getting to we're at a good, 45 minutes. Yeah. So I want to tell you, a, so I, as I was saying before, I think playing adventures is boring. I refuse to play Demir. I refuse to play Mill. Um, so I was like, I need a deck that is going to fit the play style that I want to play that will contribute to making sure adventures or making sure anything is going that I can take care of anything. And I found it. Took a lot of play testing and it was fucking annoying. But I found it. And I haven't, and I'm still in platinum, so I haven't hit diamond yet, but this is the most accurate that I can get to mm-hmm. so far. Um, this is best two out of three style, whatever. It's the literally the exact same decks that you and I play, mm-hmm. but it's a little tweaked. So I main board three Mystical Disputes, uh, main board three uh, Spike Field ha- uh, Hazards, obviously three Retreats, one Scoot Swarm, four Beanstalk Giants, four Lotus Cobras, four Arm Moth, three Genesis Ultimatum, four Escapes into the Wilds, and then two Ugans with fucking, what, 28 land? Yeah, 28 land. And then sideboard is all... So, like, for instance, like, if I'm facing Arm Moth, I have Confronting Conundrum. I have three of those. Mm-hmm. For, like, Adventures or, like, uh, like Rogues or Mono Black, things like that, I have uh, Thundering Rebuke. Mm-hmm. So good. Especially against, do you know what fucking card I fucking, fucking hate? Ashiok. Hate that card. Why? Well, it's just so good. She's very good. I'm Eat. just like, get the fuck out. It's it, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Wilts, of course. One other mystical dispute. Three Bone Crusher Giants. Two uh, Storm's Wrath. Storm's Wrath deals four damage to each creature and each Planeswalker. And then one Elspeth Conquers Death. Mm-hmm. But you Elspeth Conquers Death in a mill deck and then just get Ugin out probably game because you can really get everything online because they can't really kill it um and by that point as long as you have enough cards you can drop it seven and just also i've done his as minus 10 and then um and then a genesis ultimatum it's real good but yeah that's the that's the deck that i'm like it's not it's doing well yeah but it's also not boring and I, uh, I'm going to try to. I'm going to keep critiquing it. I'm not going to hit leader leaderboard that we've discussed, but I really enjoy the deck, and I really want to. Uh, I'm going to continue playing on Moth until he's banned, but I refuse to play Adventures. Yeah, I don't want to play. I could see maybe on Moth Lucky Clover banning, but um, if on Moth gets banned, I don't know. Then Rogue uh, Rogue's going to go crazy. Rogue's going to go crazy. I see. I could see Garul going crazy too. Garul's going to go crazy. I want. I want to try to see if I can implement on Moth Ramp with the info combo. You can like it's going to be really difficult. There is I've been I as with uh, Onmoth you get like if you drop two lands you get that extra mana that you need. So. Yeah, what I've what I've been looking at is um, people are running Naya, uh, uh, green, red, white, Naya inf- infinite combos with uh, Spore Web and Terror. So I think I might try to see if I can just for fun try to find out if I can actually pull it off. Also, Kloss is so good. Kloss? I've been running her again. So the green red god from Thrones. Oh yeah, there is. So. She's real good. Uh, it's just easy life gain, easy card removal. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm surprised she didn't get played as much. It's she could have, and when Uro was running around, because that's a really easy way to exile Uro. Um, but uh, anywho, we will. Uh, I think it's coffee time. I think it's coffee time too. Coffee time. All right, we'll be back. Fucking 
Welcome back. <sighs> you don't see the claps. You see the beginning clap, but that's going to change because we're going to get like an intro going. <clears throat> we should get an intro going. When we get the new place, dude, season three is going to be fire is all I'm saying. Like season two is a step up for sure. You know, we're getting our shit together. Season, season three, three is going to be fucking fire. It's going to be so good. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> and we'll have real coffee segments this week. We have real coffee segments. We're trying um, Sunbright house blend it is by verve 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 yeah that's better <laughs> uh coffee roasters uh out of santa Cruz, out of santa cruz california um where are its hints it's cherry mazapan i guess that's the word and yeah. clean uh flavor. let me guess is it washed <laughs> <laughs> Look, some of them might not be washed. They may have like a chemical thing. I know the shit ones aren't washed. Let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, no, the shit ones are washed. They just get eaten and then they get shat out and then they get washed. I think the actual animal gets washed and that's what they do. You know? They kill the animal, rip the beans out of the stomach after it, they've been digested. A Why do bit. I want to? I'm not trying this. I would rather try the coffee mixed with dragon than this. Than the sh- fucking... Ooh, these it. beans are so delicious. Ba-ba. <laughs> Your beans are mine now. That would be amazing. Um, yeah, it was the, these beans were roasted on the first. So relatively fresh. Fresh beans. <sighs> but very it tastes good. fresh. Yeah, very it's good. Very good. Uh, I would deem it my second favorite out of this for this season. Um, I don't really know where I'd put it. I do... F- Fourth? It's interesting because fourth is fourth is good for me. Yeah. Second and third. So Stay Golden was also a light kind of blonde roast like this one. And um Stay Golden was really good. Stay Golden was very good. Uh which one's this one? Sea Bright. So you remember Stumptown, right? Yeah. The Indonesia one? Yeah, whatever that one was the other day. Um, the other day. Sorry, last season. Yeah. I can buy more flavors of them at my Kroger. They have like four or five different flavors there. I can buy more as my, as well. I know. I'm just fucking... Fuck with me. <laughs> I ain't working at Whole Foods. I, I work at Whole Foods. Food. All of my stuff is overpriced. Can you buy the coffee from Kroger, please? Thank God. <laughs> Let's just We're going to have bro. to because... Um, so all of these have come from that coffee subscription, and I'm not going to pay for it. So... So th- how many more do we have left? I don't know. Like... So... It was a year's worth of subscription for once a month, but I'm getting them twice a month. So, and that was started back in June or July. So we have like a couple more months of it, but. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. I want to do this before we, we start buying more just because like we'll start, it'll start like we'll start having too much and then some will probably expire at some point. Oh no, for sure. Like before, um, when every time I buy, (laughs) buy a coffee to try, so the biohazard and the wake and bake, the jittery Joe's mm-hmm. one we tried, we were just, we had like three or four that we were just back stock on. And we still have one that we haven't yeah. tried yet from like a month ago that I got. Um, so we're gonna have to do that. And then, um, we have the other jittery Joe's coffee that we need to try too. We might do that for 10. I don't know yet, but, um, no, we'll do that for nine. So we have six. So we have, three do you have something episodes. planned for 10? I'll figure something out. We might do one of the poop coffees. Not for season two. Yeah, that's on you, buddy. I'll tr- I guess no, I'll try it. Um, for for ten, it might be a special episode where we do all like the crazy coffees. I don't know yet. So all like the world's strongest. I might just sit down and buy all those, <laughs> and then we just try them. Why we don't little we cappuccino cups or something? Know, or should, shooters. Are we doing Are we doing that on an episode? I thought we were gonna do a separate video of that. Uh we were gonna do a separate video. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, yeah, we clearly just don't have planning. Or skills. I could get real Kona blend coffee now to try <laughs> for episode ten. You should. That'd be cool. That'll be cool. Down. That was supposed to be season finale for last season. Yeah. Anyways, let's talk about the coffee we actually have here. Yeah, um, very good actually. I was surprised when it came in the mail and I grabbed it. It it smells amazing. By the way, I think it's one of the best smelling coffees we've tried. Dude, the one that oh, what's the one that I think it was. Um, There was one that that you had. It was on. It was still in the thing. Oh, let me see. 
Have bloom from between the buried that may stuck in my head. And we can't play it on here because copyright claims. This will get copyrighted and taken down, and then we'll get a strike, and then uh, our channel will disappear forever. Yeah, so. we're not Unis. They <laughs> did some crazy shit the other day. Um, I've been I've been catching up. Yeah. A lot of the a lot of piss. Yeah, a lot of piss. Um, it's also funny. So we bought. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. We bought the Sony A six hundred, I think, or six thousand. Uh, the Sony seven Sony A seven three just came out. Mm-hmm. It's a two hundred or sorry two thousand dollars. Um, and Mark and Ethan like Ethan got it, and Mark's upset that Ethan got it before he did. Um, but it's very pretty camera. But that also got me on a, like a man. We should get another camera. I think we should upgrade. And I'm like, I don't have any fucking money at this point because I, I don't, don't have any fucking money to do. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally going to Arkansas. So I'm gonna broke as shit by the time I get back. Yeah, I know. But uh, so, yeah, I was just like, I need to stop. <laughs> like, I have a, a list of things that I want. So, you know, those stupid triangle things, mm-hmm. those LED triangle lights. Guess how many they are. Guess how much it is for a 15 pack. Like the name brand one. Yeah. I could not tell you. Three hundred dollars for 15 of them. So we're going to go to Amazon <laughs> and we're going to buy Amazon's choice. Yeah. Um, so I was like, because <laughs> I like I haven't like everything priced up, like new office chairs. Um, LED lights. Come on. Um, big loaf. Big old. Um, new lights, LED lights, because like the stuff that I want to do for the set. Um, webcams, so we can have an overcam and then webcams and then all this other shit. Uh, that'd be super cool. You know what we should put on the wish list? An editor. Yeah, I know. Hey, Amazon, can you... Uh, can you give us an editor? editor? Uh, but <clears throat> once we actually start getting a uh, decent community and buying up a decent editor because I have no much uh, I have no idea how much editors cost. I have no idea either. I don't want it to be like, hey, I'll edit your video for four hundred dollars. I'm be like, you can go you can go fuck eat yourself. all of the dicks. <laughs> Why don't you edit that? Why don't you edit my dick in your mouth? Yeah, yeah. But anywho, um but yeah, so um not to get derailed of the future of the podcast. Because you should be paying attention to the podcast now and how awesome it is. In my living room. Uh, <laughs> and this loaf of a boy in season three, he will no longer be with us. He's not going to die. He's dead. <laughs> I'm quitting the podcast. Yeah. If no, he goes, I go. Technically, they're my, uh, my roommates, my little brother's cats. He's just super attached to me. Um, so I'm at my depressed. sister's house, right? Watching the dogs. And um, I keep they they have several guns because they're you know upper class white people. Um, so I keep a pistol with me because the house is fucking huge, right? And I get scared at night because um, it's a huge house, and you know I don't know. Are you afraid of ghosts? No, fucking someone in there, and they're gonna shoot me, so I'm gonna shoot him back. But he bought a recently a new like I don't know if I could say this a uh, shotgun. Um, I mean, we are in Texas. I know, but um, he's very th- whatever. Um, they got a new shotgun, and it's like a whatever. Um, and he was like, "This is for your safety. Don't fucking Kurt Cobain yourself while we're gone, please." <laughs> I was just like, "Bro, that's kind of fun." You can't say that. I get it's been like twenty plus years, but dog, too soon. Anytime I worked at the movie theater, I'd just be like, hey, told Abraham Lincoln someone. You know what I'm saying? Too soon. Um, I don't want to get on. God. Yeah. Well, well uh, I'm going to discuss one more thing, and then we can switch to the MOCs. Yeah. Because I we we have to skip next week. Well, I guess when you're... I guess when they're watching this, I'm going to be in Arkansas. Yeah. This comes out on the 15th, and then that is the day you're leaving. So. Yeah. But there's one thing that I've realized because I was showing a friend our podcast um, from episode like I was showing the audio and then showing. <laughs> Don't even look at me like that. You've done it too many times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, so there's certain things that I've that I've realized that we do we did then and now we just so subcon- like we've gotten so good at being podcasters. Yeah, there's certain things that we do now. Yeah. 
that are just so like even when we're not even when the camera's not rolling and we're not recording we will always just naturally just like when we're talking we never like talk like this we're always no, just like, we're, yeah the mixer's not on we don't have headphones on but we're just naturally we're like, just still just yeah no yeah. i think that we should you know like <laughs> how's your day been well we're not recording yet but well, it was a few episodes ago it may have even been at the end of season one i think it was the beginning of season two because like we set up again and we weren't even recording yet but it was just in this environment and i was like god it feels good to be back we only took like two or three weeks off. But I think it, was, it was about three. Yeah, but it was still just like, ah, oh, I love this setup. I definitely like, you get in a groove and you're like. Yeah. You, get in a, you get in this mode of just like, you. I, I love being, doing a podcast. Yeah. Especially because this, this is the fourth time that I've tried to do a podcast. Mm-hmm. The other three were train wrecks. Mm-hmm. The other three were alcohol related. And I don't know if you know this, never do a podcast <clears throat> which alcohol related. Oh, the we, extras I'm going to be drinking. but <laughs> We're drinking? I have the pickle beer that I have to get through, so. <clears throat> How many you got? It's five. Can I have one? Yeah. Sick. I love pickle beers. But <clears throat> Are we filming MOCs or no? You want to film them? I'm going to, I'll explain when we're done with this, but um, how we're going to film it. It's going to be a little different than the normal podcast, but um, yeah, no, I would say like, even though the setup hasn't come a long way, I think it has, like we've gotten better with like. Um, <laughs> with like being on track with things and just like a oh, podcast yes. structure in general, we've yeah. gotten better with this, like just table setup, and like we have a much better camera now. Um, we've we're slowly morphing into legit podcasters. Yeah, and then I think when the new set happens, it'll be like a true podcast set, which will be really cool. There's um, one thing that I've heard a lot, and I never really thought about it until people started. So I show people, I don't know who listens. I refuse to, to see or yeah. ask who listens because I don't want to like have that in my head of like, who's listening? Yeah. It's the same concept with the albums. Um, but I was showing one of my partners, Just I was just listening to one of our podcasts and we were going somewhere. I can't remember. And I was just listening to it in my car or in my van. And she was like, you guys have very, very good like podcast voices. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> what is that? What? I don't even mean. And then she was like, and that's why I brought up you the the intro. That's why oh, I was yeah. like, you should do the intro because it, I, it was that I think it was that episode. And then she like listened to the and he was she was like, yeah, he could he could do radio stuff. And I was like, that's true. No, it was just it's just the way that you said and the state of the game itself. Yeah, and it was <laughs> just like we get surprised, and it was just like you enunciated, you were very confident, and the and the thoughts on the game itself. We got our coffee. Let's get into it. It's just the way that you talked. Like I want to do so. Season three, I want to do the intro, but I want to. I'm gonna have to like sit down and take multiple takes, and I'm just like I need to sound as confident as yeah. you. Uh, I am not confident at all, and I like I've said it before. I've gotten better with it because we listen to ourselves now. But um, I hate the sound of my voice. I sound. I think I sound like a nasally little like fucking ten year old. Well, you do. But. It's just you. <laughs> You know, yeah. Um, I mean, I sound like a I sound like a guy that's been smoking for forty years, but also like when I play piano, I have whiskey on the fucking piano, and I'm just like, why am I not famous? Why wasn't it me? Why wasn't it me wearing a hat with a feather? Yeah, God, um, that's every dent night right now. No, <laughs> I think that's harvest started with that. <laughs> yeah, well, harvest house is that we'll do with the extras later. I'll, I'll I'll explain in in the extras. I'm All gonna right. I'm gonna put in the notes. But uh, I think that's it for this. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. Um, well, thank you for listening to our rantings of. Um, Let us know what you think about the meta right now and how you guys feel about fucking. Yeah, Armand about fucking and uh, Scoots and Worm. Lucky Clover. Uh, Lucky Clover in particular. Fuck Lucky Clover. Um, yeah, I'll hit us up in the comments. Let us know. Let us know if you want to hear us talk about anything any coffees you want us to try we're open to anything except for if it's limeade flavored yeah don't send us shit if you do just tell us it's shit yeah just let us know that if you tell us it's shit it. we'll review it for sure yeah because this season is we've gotten we've gotten better with picking our coffee that gets sent to me in the mail uh we've had really good coffee this whole season like last season i was just buying biohazard's stuff. a little rough biohazard was rough and it's definitely at the bottom of it I would That's say also a coffee you're meant to mix. Yeah. I would also say follow us on Instagram and Facebook, Magic of Coffee MTG. 
There we go. Twitter is the Magic of Cough One. We are on YouTube if you're listening to us on SoundCloud or, or any other platform for a podcast, podcast Apple Podcasts. You know. Yeah. Um, and we are on Discord now. It'll be in the link in the description. Um, so yeah, Patreon will be up very soon. We are working on that very hard. <laughs> Not really. Um, we're good. Yeah. So we've got our coffees. Let's get, Let's get into it. <laughs> Wait, so what is happening? <laughs> We're starting over. <laughs> We're starting over. We have this hour and a half. You do, we should do that. We should duplicate the podcast and just do it in reverse. Yeah. So we'll just sound like Sims characters. But we'll do it. Please, God, enjoy your morning. Yes, enjoy your morning.